I wrote a list out and completely bypassed Taurus. So, Taurus. Earth sign. I'm so unprepared. This is what I was using. There. Earth sign. Taurus. Partnerships and Deceit, Taurus, this is Apprentice Skills and Deceit, when at all costs, so maybe some unethical behavior in business, the Emperor, Authority, Six of Wands, Three of Swords, Ace of Wands, Four of Pentacles, Queen of Wands, The Magician, Strength, Five of Cups, Knight of Pentacles, The Empress, Seven of Cups, Two of Cups, Page of Swords, Two of Swords, and The Wheel of Fortune. Let's go across first. So, you've got the winning at all cost in business, then there's the emperor, this is power and authority. Sometimes it is greed and lust. There is the celebrated person, so the CEO, you are maybe the one in charge. There is some cleaning house that you are doing, so maybe this is why it seems that way. And the Ace of Wands is starting fresh. There's a new idea. So I think you may be sort of running rough shot over people. This is not a judgment because sometimes that needs to happen. So I'm just telling you what I see. But there's also a person of authority who who's on the way out because there's a separation, sort of betrayal, and you have to start new. So whoever was there, this person of authority, this celebrated person, this person of mentorship even, it starts new. So that's around you right now, Taurus. You have the Four of Pentacles. This is clinging, resistant to change. There is a woman around you that is, for whatever reason, Stubborn, very, fire sign woman, Sagittarius, Leo, and Aries. There is the magician. Now you have the skills to change this person, but it is going to take some patience. So maybe there is a person who needs to take the medicine and they won't. Maybe there's a person who needs to get a better job and they won't. Whatever it is, the Queen of Wands is a person who is resisting to change. Five of Cups is disappointment and regret. Centers around a man, a young man of um, Earth sign, Capricorn, Virgo, or Taurus. This could be you even, since we are talking about Taurus. It does involve a relationship, maybe a marriage or an engagement and some infidelity because this is sort of going in many different paths a lot to choose from and confusion so there is some regret over that deceit that's what crowned you there is a bond and a relationship there is a young child that seems to be sort of outside of the bond so maybe one of you is entering into the 
relationship and you have a child. There's a stalemate, though. I don't know if you told that person you had a child. Um, this is like a young child, so around six, seven, eight. Then there's the Wheel of Fortune. So we'll see how fate will turn. But there is a bit of the indecision on that part because that person wasn't playing with all the cards. They didn't know exactly what they were getting into. And so there was a bit of a deceit there. And that's how you chose to play it. There's the Emperor. This person is also resistant to change. So there is an authority figure somewhere, maybe it's you, who will not budge on his or her idea. There's some regret to that though. Disappointment. It does cause you to sort of reach out to new partnerships, but forewarned is forearmed. If you knew this ahead of time, just do it now. The celebrated person. This is someone who is elevated to sort of a higher plane. Um, there is the queen of wands around that. This seems to be the person who elevates you. This is the delivery of money. Um, it is delayed with the Page of Swords, so there is a delayment to it. I said that delayment. There is a delayment to it. So be patient because the Knight of Pentacles is slow moving. Most um, Knight cards will show the horse in motion. This is slow moving. This is earthly energy, so it's, it's grounded. It doesn't rush ahead like the Knight of Swords. This is delayed, disappointing, but it's just delayed. So your promotion or your raise or whatever it is, is coming, but this person is working on other things. So just be patient. There's the partnership. It's, it is there. It's off the ground. There's confirmation. Calm yourself. Separation for one of you, some of you. The Magician. Um, there is some... This is illusion, so... That's the kind word. We'll call it lies. Five of Swords. Five of Swords for Taurus. There is some defeat and deceit. There is some sort of smokescreen you were casting. Or that was cast around you. Again, we get more confirmation that it is about... A relationship and then a decision needs to be made are you in or are you out are you with the partnership or are you not there is a new idea that some of you have um, it is going to take some strength and taming of the beast so do your research first before you dive in now you are a Taurus so you are a stubborn person but do your research because you contain the beast this is yours like there's there's not even a question whatever that new idea is it's fine don't worry about it it, it is going to result in whatever partnership it is that you want you have to tame the beast first so if you're going to go into a meeting know what you're talking about you have to defend your dissertation or whatever it is know what you're talking about seven of pentacles seven of cups is a card of confusion many choices don't go in there not knowing what you're doing this is good luck will of fortune so it turns good for you in march 2019 One more seven of pentacles. That's the card of harvest. Reaping what you sow. Do what you will with that. That is Taurus, March 2019.